3.9 determine the current in each branch of the network shown in the figure now see this one is the network see here 10 by 5 is not equal to 5 by 10 it implies that the network given to you that is like western bridge but it is not balanced one so definitely from this middle branch some current is flowing now suppose here the current drawn from the battery of 10 volt that is i ampere when it enter to this junction a now it is divided in two part current i1 that is in the branch ab and current i2 that is in branch ab now from b suppose i3 current is in the branch b2d means b2c i1 minus i3 current will flow now i2 current enter to d this i3 current enter to d and when both leave d then d2c branch will give you the current i2 plus i3 and finally when i1 minus i3 enter to c and i2 plus i3 enter to c and when it leave here will get resultant current i clear now we have to find all these currents in each branch means we have to find i1 i2 i3 this type of one illustration we solved see first consider the loop a b d a so a to b in the direction of current so minus 10 i1 then b to d again in the direction of current so potential difference minus 5 i 3 d to a so in the opposite direction of current through resistor 5 ohm so potential difference across it that is plus 5 i 2 that is equal to 0 this is equation 1 then consider the loop b c d b so b to c you are moving in the direction of the current i1 minus i3 through 5 ohm so potential difference is negative minus 5 into i1 minus i3 then c to d you are moving in the opposite direction of the current so potential difference across 10 ohm that is plus 10 into i2 plus i3 then d to b you are moving in the opposite direction of current i3 so potential difference across 5 ohm that is plus 5 i3 that is equal to 0 now simplify this one so finally in terms of i1 i2 i3 your equation minus 5 i1 plus 10 i2 plus 20 i3 that is equal to 0 now consider the loop a b c d a this outer one so a to b in the direction of current so potential difference minus 10 i1 b to c in the direction of the current so minus 5 i1 and plus 5 i3 then c to d in the opposite direction of current so plus 10 i2 plus 10 i3 then d to a in the opposite direction of current so plus 5 i2 that is equal to 0 so resultantly you will get the equation minus i1 plus i2 plus i3 that is equal to 0 now solve these three equations by elimination method and then find out i1 i2 i3 so i1 i2 i3 are the currents in branch ab ad and bd then current through bc that is i1 minus i3 once you have i1 and i3 then you will get this one also then current through branch dc that is i2 plus i3 
once I2 and I3 is calculated, you will get current in the branch DC, that is I2 plus I3 also. Clear to all of you?